Last week we looked at how you can intercept the notifications on your mobile phone and forward them to your home assistant. For example, like these ones here. Today we will be once again playing with the notifications. This time we will look at how our mobile phone can get our attention. Can we finally skip the intro? We'll start in a couple of seconds. Good boy. Before we begin, I must once again apologize to all iPhone users for making a bad purchasing decision. I'm just kidding. But unfortunately, no, for this video, you do have to have Android phone. I know that iPhones are superior and because they are superior, unfortunately, we cannot abuse them as much as we can abuse Android phones. Today, we'll be looking at two ways on how our Android powered mobile phone with the companion app can get our attention and hopefully you will be using one, other or maybe both in your automations in the future. Let's start with the audible notifications. We all know about the text notifications. This is also something that iPhone can do where you can push text notification from Home Assistant to your companion app then have a notification there. It can be either in different color, it can be group, you can create a timeout so that messages automatically disappear, etc. But these are plain text messages. Problem with those messages is that sometimes you have a lot of them. I always have around 40 or 50 notifications from various apps and social platforms and I do unfortunately miss one or two of them or dozen or maybe all of them. That's why first we will look at the audible notification. What is audible notification? So for example, if you have a critical alert, this was actually the case where one of the comments in the comment section about the Reolink doorbell said that some other company's app is better because it can give you audible notification, which actually a Reolink app can do, but we don't want to use cloud services. And that's why I was looking on a way on how to get audible notifications even from the Home Assistant companion app. Use case would be, for example, like this. Somebody rings your doorbell and you actually get notification plus also alarm on your phone that notifies you to check the screen. I know that this is a bit of a workaround because unfortunately there is no simple way on how to push audio notifications but it works and we are currently interested only in things that work. My code was inspired by this post on Unload Brain, and I will be leaving a link to it down in the video description. But mind you, this code is from 2021 and unfortunately it is not working. So if you want to check the code that I will be using in this video, you can check the link down in the video description to my GitHub repository. And there I will create an issue with all of the codes that were used in today's video. Prerequisite for this is that you have a working companion app on your mobile phone that can be accessed from the outside. Actually, this is not mandatory to be able to access from the outside, but it would make much more sense to have this if you are outside than when you are already at your home. And here what you can see is the code we will be using. As I said, the link to it will be down in the video description. You can get all the code that I use in any of my videos free of charge on my GitHub repository together with all of the automations that my home actually is using every day. So let's look at it. We have service notify, and this is the entity name of my mobile phone. Then we have message, which is command activity, telling the companion app we will be sending a command. And then we have three variables that we have to send. First one is an intent package name. That is actually the app that we will be calling. This service call can be used for various other things. For example, you can, instead of this one, which is desk clock or alarm clock on a mobile phone, you can, for example, also open Google Maps and then use it to open specific location. Or you can use it to open any other app and send to it command that that app supports. But in this case, we'll be using this package name, com.google.android.deskclock. Once again, this is an Android clock. Then we have intent action. Android intent action set timer. We are creating timer inside this desk clock and then intent extras android.intent.extra.alarm.skip UI because we want this to be created automatically. True plus Android intent extra alarm length one. 
this sets the alarm to one second in future. And how does that work? If I call the service, as you can see, it starts the timer with period of one second, and of course, it expires very quickly, and we get the alarm. I know that this is really not the best way to get your attention, but since we cannot create, as far as I know, audible notifications from within companion app, the next best thing is, for example, to send notification to companion app in a service call automation, then add a second service call that would create this one second timer. That way, when the message is received on your mobile phone, you will get the alarm, you click the alarm and you see notification on your mobile phone. So how would the automation look? For example, when this Limtech motion sensor detects motion, we create two service calls. First, we send notification to our mobile phone with the title warning and the motion detected as a message. Then, right after it, we create additional call to notification for once again our mobile phone, where we are sending message, command activity, and in data, we have intent package name, intent action, and intent extras. Once again, the code will be available on the GitHub repository linked in the video description. And we can test it. Three dots, click run. And I got also notification, warning motion detected. Once again, I know that this is not the cleanest way or maybe the easiest way for you to do it, but that's one of the ways on how the mobile phone can get your attention by ringing. And that's what mobile phones do. At the beginning, I mentioned that we'll be looking at two ways. So we did look at one way, but now let's look at the other way. The other one is even more fun, but don't overdo it, both with this one and also with audible notifications. You don't want your phone to constantly ring, to constantly give you notifications. Use this for just critical or extreme conditions. For example, when you are not at home, when the alarm is triggered or something similar. Without further ado, let's look at the next one. This one is even simpler. This one is even simpler. Yeah, I know, I've just said that. This is how you can send text-to-speech notifications to your mobile phone. So instead of using notifications, read notifications on your mobile phone, you just send a text and the phone will read it out loud. But also please note, both with this one and the previous one, sometimes, depending on the settings of your companion app, depending on the version of your operating system, Android operating system, and we know that unfortunately with Android, there is a big gap of supported versions of Android. Not all the notifications may end up delivered as quickly as you would like. Some notifications can take some time for it to be delivered. Other notifications on some mobile phones, depending on the permissions you have, may only be visible or heard both as timer and as text-to-speech when you unlock your phone. This is not something that I can control as far as I know at this time, but be aware. Play with this and see if one or the other suits your needs. But when and if they work, they are awesome way to get attention. How do you configure this one? This is also very simple. Let's look at the example of the automation. When we detect motion, that can be motion, that can be door open, that can be ring on the doorbell, whatever you want to set up here. Then we call a service notifications for our companion app on the mobile phone with the message TTS for text-to-speech and in data we have two variables TTS text this is a text that would actually be sent and this is the media stream alarm underscore stream there are various different streams for the media on your mobile phone but why are we using this alarm stream? alarm stream is high priority stream so even if your mobile phone is muted, it should send the audible notification that you can hear. If we click on three dots and run to test it, you should hear a message like this. Once again, remember that if you hear and when you hear the notification depends on the permissions and settings, both on your companion app, but also on your operating system. If you suppress messages from companion app or if there are any other settings that can override 
this activity, you will not be able to hear the messages, not until you unlock your phone. That means that the message will not be delivered or or it will be delivered very late when you unlock your phone. What you've seen here are the ways on how you can push audible and text-to-speech messages. As I mentioned, there may be sometimes issues with it. Same as with previous video, notifications may not be delivered on time. This all depends on a lot of factors, so I cannot list just one or two things that you need to check to make sure that notifications do reach you either from mobile phone to your home assistant if you're intercepting them or if you're sending timers or alarms or text-to-speech notifications from your home assistant to companion app. But these are also awesome things and gimmicks you can try to implement inside your home assistant. I really do hope that you did enjoy this video and if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give this video a like so that more people can see it based on YouTube recommendations. Also, while you are already there, check that you are subscribed. But I really would like to hear your comments. What do you think about the audio notifications or text-to-speech notifications? Have you already tried them? Are you using them? Did they fail you? How would you implement inside your home assistant? What do you see as a good thing and what do you see as a bad thing? besides these potential delivery issues. Drop me a line down in a comment section below. And before I end up the video, as always, I really would like to thank all those wonderful people that are supporting me and that have become YouTube channel members. Thank you all for all of your support. But let's not forget each and every one of you who has liked, shared, watched and commented on my videos. Thank you. If you too want to support the channel, you can do so by clicking the join button down below and become a YouTube channel member for only 2 euros or 2 dollars per month. Or you can go to my merchandise store and get something there. Last but not least, you can always send me super thanks and I will be super thankful for that. I'll be seeing you next time. Until then, bye bye and have fun.